Back in Super Bowl 42, when the Patriots were going for perfection, 18 and 0, this was their first play from scrimmage. A fake to the back, a fake to ghost motion right here. And then they set up the screen, but not before Barry Cofield hit Brady. It was significant. It was more than just an incompletion. They hit Tom Brady a lot. Good pressure on Tom Brady, who just got that ball away. Like Strahan does right here. Bam. Down goes Brady again, right on the logo, and misses a shot to the end zone. Now, defensive pass interference. The Patriots did get the ball in the one-yard line. But watch what Strahan does to the right tackle. Bam. Brady hit. All right. They would end up scoring from the one, but they hit Brady on the opening drive of the game. On third and one, Spag sent a double blitz off the edge. Outside pressure, eating up some of the blockers. And here comes Butler and Strahan to stop Lawrence Maroney or minus two on third and one, forcing a punt. It's a great stop right there for the New York Giants on third down. And then back-to-back -back sacks in the second quarter. Here it is. You can see, watch it. Both inside linebackers, 55 right there. Kavika Mitchell, he's going to fake like he's dropping, but then he's going to go. And they're going to bring the slot defender. One of Spags is special right here. And they would hit Brady again, right on the logo and get him down to the ground. He's going to act as if he's not coming. He starts up, then he goes back as if he's going to go into coverage. And by doing that, then he's able to get pressure. Watch Mitchell, number 55. All right, he's going to fake like he's dropping. See that? Drop the right foot. That gets the center sliding. Then he comes free. And Brady slips him, but he can't get away from the outside pressure off the slot. The very next play, they get their NASCAR package, okay? Strahan and Tuck and Kiwanuka and Osi. They all get there. In just a four-man rush, Justin Tuck takes Brady down. The NASCAR package. No blitzes, great rushers, somebody wins. Here you go. This is what it looked like. O.C. to the back of Tom Brady right here. They kept putting the pressure on Brady in the final minutes of the first half. The highest scoring offense in the history of the NFL would go into halftime with just seven points. Here's 22 seconds to go. Four-man rush. Giants right here hanging on seven to three. They've kept the Patriots to one touchdown. And here comes Justin Tuck. 22 seconds. He gets the ball out, and O.C. recovers it, keeping the Patriots from scoring again in that first half. Well, what a great job by Justin Tuck. They've just not been able to control him. No matter where they put him, he's been able to take advantage and get pressure. 7-3 at halftime. Giants liked what they were doing. They were hitting Brady a lot. And then third and seven right here. Here comes Strahan. Strahan around the corner, beats the right tackle. Brady, no place to go, no place to hide, eats it. Boy, he came flying off the ball at the snap, a loss of six. 14 seconds to go on third and 10, the third quarter. Brady, double pumping, wants the deep shot to Randy Moss, holding it too long. Here comes another hit. See that? Here comes, bam, another hit to Brady, affecting that throw to Moss down the field. Incomplete, Justin Tuck with late pressure on Brady. And then on third and seven, they move Brady off the spot. That was a big part of it, all right? What they do is they attack Kevin Falk, number 33. They attack him with the linebacker, so he can't get out clean. Now Brady's got a hold. He's got no check down. He's got pressure on the backside from human arm. Now he starts to move. And right here, he tries to make this shot to Wes Welker. And the Giants read it all the way. Sam Madison almost with an interception. See, O.C. Human, you're being able to get the pressure here. But they're just not able to give him any help. You'd like to keep a back in there and help out, but because the Giants are bringing blitzers inside, you cannot give help to Matt Light. And then because the throw was coming late, they were fortunate there. Dockery in coverage, but Sam Madison came from the outside and almost intercepted that ball. Final seconds of the game. 17-14 Giants lead. Here comes Alford right up the middle, taking Brady down. Second to last play of the game. Brady's got to eat it with a 10-yard sack right there. The Giants hit Brady from the first play to the last play and a whole lot in between. And the highest scoring offense, as Brady calls a timeout right there, for one more shot. The highest scoring offense in the history of the NFL, 
held to 14 points as the Giants shocked the Patriots and the NFL with a big win by hitting Tom Brady repeatedly.